and there has been a new follower, I think. So I'd kind of like to call them out first. And uh, Kendoka123. I'm actually not sure if they weren't a follower earlier or not, but at least they show up as the newest follower, so thanks for that. Also, um, just as a recap, we are still in the four quests the elves give, gave us, so we can t uh, use the land uh, south of the Great River and north of it. So, yeah. So far we have, like what did we do again? Right, we um, went to the Brown Hills, this is this place, and defeated two troll leaders. Then we went to the beaches to defeat a couple of Saurians that uh, were trading metal with the Nagas. Like, peacefully trading. And we just invaded them and killed them. And next up uh, we have the choice between fighting a dragon or cleansing an island from um, undead. Elvish undead to be precise, but it doesn't make a difference in this case. Then let's just start. Like we have again this this first scenario. Uh, this this scenario where we go back to the Kalyan and uh, decide on a new mission. Haldric and his companions find themselves before the Kalyan, or the El the Council of Elven Lords. Our beaches are free again. I knew I could trust you, Haldric. You are victorious again. You may yet earn your place in this land. So again, he says we have to fight a dragon, and he says we have to go to Isle of Tears to d destroy the undead. In the name of peace between our peoples, let's put those souls to rest on the cursed isle. Undead. <laughs> we are pros at fighting them. So the cursed island. So we go back here where we have our ships. And then we go over there to the isle. It's going to be called the Green, uh, no, I mean the Three Sisters at a later time. After a short trip by sea, Haldric arrives on the elf's cursed Isle of Tears. A fog hangs in the air. I said no more ships. Double crossing humans. Ah, oh, I've been with you this far. Who the fought a nautical dwarf? I expect we'll be facing more undead. Be careful. These will be the long dead. Not like the undead that my people used. And they are elf dead. Be careful indeed. All soldiers of darkness will meet the same fate by my hand. Okay. Nice flex. Oh, that was the wrong unit. I'm certainly not gonna move him over there. And she's fast. Like, there's one enemy, and there's one enemy over there as well. So we've got the altar, of course, but. Like, yeah, actually, I'm gonna use them, but not in this turn. Uh, my Iron Maulers, in a way, very worthless right now because, well, yeah. Moving them over here is just gonna be take so long, and I don't want it. Like, that would, it's just frustrating if I tried it. Then we've got Sprouting Potatoes, a Knight, not yet a Paladin, but a Paladin to be. Also my White Mage, which I trained up, because I lost one. And... Yeah... Merfolk... Curse... Mobility. Also this guy has a Storm Trident, which is useful, and this one can... Slow units. Also means they have impact damage, so that's also quite nice. Then let's take the village. And let's keep walking. So there's holy water down there by the way. Which means for me that I will also get this um Mayor Man Warrior to take this holy water. 
Like, I could technically send a human unit down there, but it would just take forever and I don't want that. So I'm not doing that. And instead I'm doing like this. So as you can see, the enemy possesses some villages to begin with. So yeah. They won't waste any time of taking villages because they already have them. Also, whoa, how much gold did they have? Not much. Nah, I'm not gonna get any of those. I'm just gonna go for sh going to play serious in this. Okay. So now I'm not recru not recalling one more unit because uh, I can only recruit one, and I have enough gold to recall exactly four of them. And if I wait f uh, to recall those four. Oh, now, no, if I had recalled one unit uh, in the previous turn, I would have been unable to recall four units now because my income would have gone into negative. But this way I can just recruit, recall four of them without having to care about income after this. Fugitive because they are pretty good against Skeleton, uh, skeleton types of undead. Okay, so that's for now just ghosts and bats, but it's mostly because those those are the fast units. They are likely going to be uh, more slower undead, like ghouls or skeletons. We'll see. Sprinkling this water on melee weapons grants them the arcane damage type until the end of the current scenario. Should Neziroa use it, take it. This water will make melee weapons have their arcane damage type until the end of the current scenario. Fair enough. And it means now he's also useful against undead. Especially against uh, against the ghost types. Damn, destroy those guys. Yes. And because they rushed ahead and because I uh, recalled useful kinds of units, I was able to just destroy them instantly. Which is pretty nice. Then keep walking. So it's also nice that the ghosts arrive before it's actually night time, so they want to, they can't deal as much damage as they could have done later. Le it's like they could have done in this turn. Too bad that this isn't going as well as the beach. I miss the beach. I mean, fair point. He likes easy challenges, I can relate. So now I soften this up so I have a better shot at killing them. My um, knight sprouting potatoes. So yeah, this is actually going quite well. I'm not sure why he's complaining. Ah, uh, yep. Ghouls as expected. More bats, of course. And let's see what we've got here. Like, this is obviously a spectra. And I would like to kill that one. And it seems at least the green one invested heavily into ghosts. Like, I killed four of the units already, I think. And there's only this one ghoul visible. There's probably someone over there as well, but maybe not. Okay, and that Merman Hoplite is way too slow for my test. Anyone come? Okay. Then apparently they're both invested heavily into uh, ghosts, because there doesn't seem to be anyone else coming. Ouch, but I survived that. Then those places seem to be worth investigating. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna investigate them. So yeah, over there just so they can heal. And those guys down to the south in case there are actually there's actually someone coming. Yep, more go. Still surprising that there are so few enemies I c 
kind of expect it. Oh, they only have 300 gold. Okay, that's not exactly much. Like in that case, I can understand why they have recruited more than this. The temple is quite empty. That's nice, I guess. So like this, so they have no chance at on to uh, getting onto flat, so it makes it far easier to hit them. Like sure, those two are gonna get poisoned, but it's worth it. I have enough healers on standby, I mean that's literally why I got so many healers. Die. Not quite. Better. I wish a blight upon you and yours. May you never see peace. That's... Not very friendly, but okay. And die. Yeah, I'm gonna use this guy instead of this guy to attack uh, because he is already max level, he doesn't really need it. And die. Okay, I can see now that I went way overboard when rec recruiting and recalling. Uh, in my defense, I really thought this would be more difficult. That has to go first, because that's easier to. Um, the bat has an easier time taking stuff from me. Because, well, they are pretty fast. Then, let's trigger this one. You retrieve 50 pieces of gold. Oh, oh, okay, that's how it works then. And the last one. She's. She's beautiful. You will be made to serve. Come admire me. Feel my love. She is so... Haldrick, think you feel brain. Get her before she ensorcerates us all. Fair enough. Defeat the vampire queen. So instead of... Ha wait, instead of having to kill daughters? That seems odd. I can't... Like, I... I think the objectives will flip, uh, will flip to defeating all enemy leaders once she's done for. At least that's what I expect right now. My soul will haunt this place until the end of time. A curse upon you. Oh, oh, okay, that's... Without the queen, the undead are simply fading away. Those elves are finally at rest. I hope that the curses they led laid upon us hold no weight. Haldric, you're too paranoid. So I merged victorious, like... Yeah, that was... I could have done it with way less troops and... I guess I just take this. I mean, I could optimize it by, uh, for example, not getting the any of the merfolk because none of them are really needed, and then I could just. Uh, it also kind of depends on what exactly they recruit. But if they went for ghosts again, I could just brute force the issue with four mages, three mages of light, one white mage, and my two leaders. Maybe Yalta and the Paladin in the mix, and then I would still be able to win this. But whatever. Optimizing is nice, but it's not a goal right now. And high sprouting potatoes, you're uh, over here. And the scenario is already over. I like. Which is also pretty unexpected for me as well. Yes, you basically missed the stream, but I can't say that I expected to only need 12 minutes for this. 
So yeah. Let's go back to the Kalyan first and let's see what they say. It's Okay, it still gives me the choice. Whatever. For now I'm gonna stop and this part of the Kalyan I'm gonna stream it anyway when I actually fight a dragon, but not now. For now, thanks for watching and sorry I, I really thought this would be harder. But I guess I'm already quite optimized against Undead with like I had to be. Uh, but I'm still surprised myself. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sprouting Potato as well, even though it was just uh, after I finished. And see you next time.